What's going on, everybody? Well, the saga's continuing. What a nightmare. Shit show. Total shit show. So, I bought another furnace. Here's my old one here. You can see this one's been used a bit. Um, this one crapped out on me. And the display, when it crapped out on me, I watched the display go from... 700 and something degrees to 3200 degrees Celsius. And these machines are only rated to go up to 1150 max. Um, so when I watched that gauge travel to 3200 degrees, I knew something was very wrong. Uh, I looked inside and the crucible that was in there was still black. It wasn't glowing at all. So I knew something was very wrong. Uh, I got one more melt out of it, and then it crapped out. So I ordered another one. This one crapped out on me 10 minutes after I plugged it in. And check it out. It, it comes pretty dusty, pretty dirty. That, that's awesome. Fantastic company. No, I'm kidding. If you see that name on any product, just don't buy it. Uh, I've been looking at reviews on all of the sellers, and none of them have good reviews. Um, but they're cheap. Several hundred dollars cheaper than all of the other furnaces out there. Which sucks, because I'm probably going to order another one of these pieces of crap. But what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this one, and my other one, I got a refund for this. They told me, please don't ship it back. Um, it's already costing us too much. We don't want to pay for shipping. Blah, blah, blah. So I get to keep it. Okay, cool. I'm taking the thermal coupler out of this one and putting it in my other one and keeping my fingers crossed and praying and hoping that it works. Uh, something popped in this one, whether it was just a connection, I don't know if it was. Maybe we'll solder it back up and try it again. But, uh, I'm more inclined to take the thermocoupler out of this one, put it in the other one, because the other one still turns on. This one don't turn on no more. So, I'll keep you updated. Wish me luck. I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a, another furnace pieces of crap this one wasn't several hundreds this one was 238 dollars after tax um and it worked for 10 minutes and it took me a week to get my money back and it will take three to five business days for the money to hit my account yeah don't do it it ain't worth it. Save your pennies and go get a better one to start with. American made. Um, yeah. All right. I'll keep you updated. Much love. Talk to you all soon. Okay. So I wanted to touch base on two things. Um, the first one was I misspoke. I am not fixing these, this furnace. I'm actually on my way to a buddy's house. He used to be a TV repair guy or worked for somebody who was a TV repair guy and ultimately feels comfortable enough to dig into some electronics. Um, if the furnace, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you or not, but if they didn't belong to me, I would feel totally comfortable taking these things apart and giving it a try. But considering they belong to me and they are actually still worth something at the moment even though they don't work they might one of them might you never know so yeah I, I would rather not screw it up myself even though it's already screwed up and the second thing I wanted to touch on was a couple people in the coin community helped me out big time in the process of purchasing this furnace and I have not forgotten that that money is still well it's still in the process of being returned but once it does come in 
it's not being spent on anything other than a furnace. Um, the only thing I'm questioning now is do I really want to go through this and buy another shitty cheap little furnace for a couple hundred bucks? Um, and that's what I got once it comes in. That's what I'll have saved up for another furnace. So I don't know what I'm doing yet whether I am going to just save up a little bit more to buy a much more expensive furnace made in America or am I just going to buy another one of these crappy little things and go through this all over again and over and over until I eventually get a real furnace so I don't know we'll see what happens but yeah I just wanted to you know touch on those two things number one I'm not an electronics guy and I am not willing to dig into my own stuff I mean if it came down to it and I absolutely had to sure I would but I feel more comfortable handing it off to somebody else who feels comfortable enough to do it so anyway all right I think that's the end of this video so again I'm gonna end it with much love and again talk to y'all soon